So typically those variation problems are also packed in some sort of word problem. Um, for instance, the following question, where they say that the pressure P of a given mass of gas is inversely proportional to its volume V at a constant temperature. Well, if P is 3, they say V equals 5. And you have to find out, well, what is the pressure when the volume is 30? That's question A. And the second question is, well, what is the volume if the pressure equals to 5? Now, because it is inverse proportion, we know that we should write down the general formula y equals a constant over x. But they don't talk about y next, they talk about pressure P and volume V. So let's write down that the pressure equals the constant over the V. Now, with variation, we have some very specific steps to take because we should be aware that we are going to find that constant now. And we can do that because they give us P equals 3 when V equals 5. And so those two points belong to each other. Then we can find out K. So P equals 3 when the volume equals 5. Yeah. So that constant then equals yeah, 3 times 5. Yeah, so that is going to be 15. So the equation for this particular situation is that the pressure equals 15 divided by the volume. Because that's what we have to do. We always, with direct and inverse proportion, have to find that equation belonging to this situation. Well, then it's easy to answer the actual two questions. Yeah, what is the pressure when the volume is 30? So let's do question A. So what is the pressure when the volume is 30? Well, 15 divided by 30. So hopefully you see that the common factor is 15. Yeah, so that is going to be 1 over 2. Yeah, but even if you put that fraction in your calculator, it will simplify it for you, as long as you simplify fractions. All right. And then the second question is, uh, what is the volume if the pressure is 5? So the pressure is 5 equals 15 over the volume. Okay, one extra step rearranging, rearranging this equation times both sides by the volume. Yeah, so 5 times um, the volume equals 15. And when you divide both sides now by 5, so the volume equals 15 divided by 5, 5 equals to 3. Okay, so inverse proportion, yeah, they give this big question, it looks very complicated, but you know the general equation, yeah, swap it for your letters, yeah, you gotta find that constant, yeah, and that is not necessarily difficult, so P equals 15 over V, yeah, that is the equation for your question. And once you have constructed that equation, you can answer the actual questions they're asking you to answer, okay? Everybody can do this, and so can you, and I wish you all the best, and if you still have a problem, send me a message and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Okay, see you later.